Almighty Allah. We ask him to continue to show his mercy on the leader of humanity, Prophet Muhammad. His household and companions and followers. Till the day of judgment. Uh, today is Jumat and tomorrow is Saturday. A great day in the history of this country. A day in which Nigerians are going to decide who is going to lead them after the current regime, the current administration. It is the great day, 16th of 6, 1440 years after the Hijra, and it's also 16th of February, 2019. We are expected as Muslims to see our coming out to good as an act of divider, which is not going to be the benefit to ourselves, but is going to cut across all Nigerians and even beyond. So it's a great thing. For that reason, we advise the following. Number one, we should guide our utterances. Our speeches should be guided. We shouldn't in any way say things that are going to provoke, things that are going to cause confusion, crisis, dangers to this nation. A Muslim is somebody whose tongue is always guided. And especially at the hours of fitna, the emphasis is more. A lot have said so many things even among the politicians that need not to be said, and even with the followers. So we should be extra careful both, and especially when the election is coming up to go. Allah says, say to mankind words of beauty and comfort and happiness and joy. Don't say words that are going to cause calamity, crisis and confusion. The Rasulullah says, in a very simple language, whosoever believe in Allah and the day of accountability should say what is good or keep by it. Two, we should not go out tomorrow with the hope of fighting or killing or war or intimidating. We shouldn't do that. We should go humbly and simple to go and discharge our right as citizens of this nation. We should not oppress and you should not be oppressed. You should not cheat and you should not be cheated. Don't wrong others and others should not wrong you. A Muslim is somebody who always brings peace. And that's why when we terminate, the greatest act we have of worship is salat. We remind ourselves always that assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, because we are a community of peace. And when you come across a fellow Muslim brother, you remind him of this. When you knock at the door of the brother, you remind him of this. So we are a community of peace. We are never in any way violent. We are peaceful in nature. Number four, your permanent voters card, PVC, is the right for those who are having it. Some may not have it for one reason or the other. This group who doesn't want it, doesn't have it, should maintain their homes and continue to pray hard that Allah should select those who are going to be merciful to this nation. Because it has always been said, the problem of this country actually is leaders who are focusless. Leaders who are not having mercy for Nigerians. That's why we created artificial poverty in this nation. We are never naturally more poor, but we have been made to be poor compulsory by bad leadership for, for decades. So your, your PVC can adjust, because I don't believe you can become turn Nigeria to be ideal in little years to come, but it can adjust the situation. In fact, it cannot even kill corruption these days. 
but it may wound corruption so that it's, it's hospitalized. At least when corruption is hospital, maybe we can make some proof. Healing it will take a longer period than this. So your PVC can reduce the level of damages done by premiers and some current leaders of the nation. So see it as the right, don't play with it. Don't take a fake, fake PVC alone. Don't go there to cause confusion. Abide with the rules and regulations governing the game. With the INEC are championing the cost of leading. Vote and leave and go. Why in the process of voting, please maintain peace and order. The security agencies who are around the voting ground should be fair and just. They should not intimidate. They should not harass whosoever is coming there to discharge his duty. And Allah will reward them for that. Make sure you select those who deserve the position. It's not whom you like, but whom you know can do the job. Even if you don't like him. When you know he is more qualified. Even if both are qualified, you look for the more qualified. Because as I've said in the House of Ashan, the two leading parties and the two leading leaders are PMB and the former president. This is very clear. So make a critical analysis and come out with a solid result of both and be firm to select the one you know is going to move this nation forward. If you use your desire, then you are going to be asked on the day of the year. The best one can say in the position of this is that never be biased, select the best for this nation. And you are the reward too. For those who don't have PVC, should remain home and pray. Uh, for the INEC, they should fear and just because Allah is going to ask them too. And finally, where the whole process is conducted, you should allow INEC to decide based on the accountants. And if the announcement is made of result, let us accept it as what Allah has decreed for this nation. You are aware that the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and the current President Muhammad Buhari have signed an agreement of accepting the results of the coming election. In the peace accord, they agree on the outcome of the February 16 presidential election. And if they have done that, I think nobody should go against what has been decreed and what has been announced. And we are saying that today because most probably the result will be out before next Friday. So Muslims should know this and should about the need. Allah gives power to whom he likes. Yours should be a powerful, strong prayers with commitment that Allah should give the one that is going to be merciful to us. We have suffered in the hands of leaders in this country. And that should not continue. Even if they are worst, select the little worst. And even if they are all good, select the best out of the good. And that should come across all levels of your elections. And by so doing, we are going to improve. And inshallah, we are going to be better than where we are today. The nation really is suffering, uncountable sufferings, for no reason but because of bad age. So please, let us not add to the situation by putting somebody who is not even actually relevant, who is not actually going to take care. We should make sure we are selecting the best. And by our intentions that are good, Allah is going to crown that intention with success and select for us the best of us, not the worst of us. Thank you for listening.